this is the Cluffy 644 series of um, motorized ball valves is what the, these are. And what's important about that is this valve needs to be powered open and powered closed. It doesn't have a spring return and as such you're going to see a lot more wires when you pull this out of the box and go to wire it. This is available, by the way, as a two and a three-way configuration. If you're going to use it for diverting or something like that, we've got it available as a three-way. But the wiring, this is the key here. Um, notice we've got quite a few wires here. What we have here is we've got a, a blue wire, a brown wire, and a black wire. And that's the motor that opens and closes it. So blue is common. And then if you hook the blue and brown together, it's going to motorize open. And then when you go to motorize it closed, the blue and the black will be energized. So that's how you operate this valve to motor it open and motor it closed. Now this one also has an end switch built into it too. And that's going to be the other two wires that you've got over here. The white and the red are going to be your end switch. So you wire that to there. The green and yellow, as you know, green is always uh, the ground. That's an earth ground, so we're going to ground this valve. Um, you know to ground at your connection point, that's that. Now there's other one other white in here, and all that is is just a stiffener for this casing of this wire. There's no copper element in it. And you know that by the ones that you need to hook up, obviously have these little uh, ferrules crimped on the end of them, so you know those are your end switch power, uh, end switch leads, your power leads, your ground lead here, and then this one, no copper in it. If you look in the end of it, it's just a wire stiffener. So that's the 644 series with the, um, with the wiring. It also comes the manual in it, of course, explains all the wiring. It's also available online, and it also has a little wiring schematic. I don't know if you can see that under there, but it's also on the bottom of the, on the motor, too.